good morning and uh, welcome back to the channel uh, today I decided to come down to a beautiful little historic church um, that I first saw on actually my twin brother's video uh, journeyman um, who does kind of uh, ghost paranormal investigations night night vigils etc um, and I saw this on his channel um, so I thought I'd pop along in daylight hours if you like to take a look it looked really lovely I think it's called St Winifred's uh, historic in uh, Golden Stone in Faversham you can see it's uh, in the middle of the countryside a few host houses over there typically uh, Kentish so a beautiful site so really you park this down down the road and walk up this footpath here it's actually alongside a what looks like an old farmhouse and some farm buildings so it's in the middle of the countryside it's unusual to be walking up this pathway and seeing gravestones in front of me and a, a farm building behind it that's a beautiful location just in early February and just uh, starting to feel the hints of spring coming still chilly and first look at the uh, the church and the yard as we come into it here beautiful old Saxon or normal church Norman church Like a pretty old graveyard area, might be a, a few newer internments. Uh, beautiful, nevertheless. See up there the, uh, the spire clad in wooden shingles. It's a historic church that's open. So there's the farmhouse and uh, outbuilds alongside it. Apologies for the wind. Wow. John Deff, that's a, a surname I suppose. Good way to stone. Lovely car test up here. Grapes, great vines. Uh -huh. I could just make out over there, which is a bit unusual. Looks like there's a, a skull cut into it. And you see all these graves here, all lined up. Quite haunting. Mm. And again, take a little look around the graveyard first before we go in, but uh, just to get an idea of the location and what's here. There's acres and acres of greenhouses over there, which will, I'm sure will be planted and covered up shortly. That's some really old graves. But a beautiful little uh, parish church. Probably only served a small congregation of uh, locals. I keep seeing interesting symbols actually on these stones, and wherever I go in the country, there's a graveyard, so I see this symbol. Yeah, it looks like a dollar sign. Any idea what that means? Uh, be good if you leave the, uh, in the comments. Beautiful uh, thing to see standing after all these centuries. I'll find out a little bit more information on the church and add to the video. Yeah, it's cared for by the Church's Conservation Trust, which is nice to see. They're obviously looking after it and 
repairing as needed. It's so nice to see these churches open to the public. Wow, they're beautiful. As I say, uh, I think Baba, his channel, The Journeyman, has visited this at night time. Got some orbs and uh, some spirit communication, which is interesting. So it's not really my thing. I like doing daytime vlogs, if you like, and looking around different places, especially churches, because they are beautiful during the day. Really old uh, organ there. Really old, it's some inlaid. That might say, yeah. Very old. I know when I watch this in my Twin Brothers videos, I could uh, all thought it's something going to jump out behind those screens at night. Or at least see some kind of shadow figure. But it's a beautiful stained glass window, you don't get to appreciate that at night time. Look up to the the oak beam ceiling. Rows of pews, which are quite beautiful, quite simplistic. Been here probably for many hundreds of years. Looks like a, an old doorway which is no more. There's a, a coldness to the church. I think purely because it's, uh, it's kind of unused, but it still feels like a beautiful holy place. There's a little walkway there. You say maybe a, a priest hole. Move up to the altar. A lovely wick across. Beautiful stained glass window. Really beautiful, and uh, say the inlaid tiles, etc. It's a testament just how well these were constructed uh, many centuries ago. They're still standing. And just the uh, little kind of cutouts, really beautiful, and uh, they're really well carved. Okay, Floyd. So a few stones here. Keeping tired. Here layeth interred the body of Richard Howam, tenant of the Cuddenstone. Government who departed this life 19th day of December AD 1686, aged 49 years. In memory of whom Michael Hoham, his eldest son, called, um, caused this stone to be here layered. And he just always confused me a bit. And this one was 1837 and 1852. There's a husband and wife interred there in this beautiful font. Beautifully carved, I assume from sandstone. Let's say we'll take a better look at this stained glass window. We'll have a sit in the pew for a few minutes and just listen. You can make that out, the sun coming through that stained glass window to push that. Coloured shadow on the wall there, but it does look beautiful.
and the ceiling is uh, exquisite really, it really is. British oak, built to last. It's an unusual doorway there, I said it could be a priest hole of some sort, but it's not really because it, it does lead up to this kind of window area here, so I've no idea what that was useful. Again, if you know what that was for, then please leave a, a comment. I would appreciate the information. As much as I do enjoy visiting these churches, I've still got a lot to learn. streaming in it so really gives you that feeling of springs almost here. But as I say please uh, Take a look at my twin brother's channel, Journeyman. I'll leave a link in the uh, description. It's really interesting actually to see this this church at night and uh, the orbs and that that he, he catches. I'm sure he'll be back here again in the near future. I think last time we did it with a, um, with a friend that came along with him one night. Uh, but I'm sure he'll be back alone in the near future. Maybe I'll come along with them one night and uh, see how different this feels. But yeah, that was that was the church. And so I wanted to come here ever since I saw his video. And so this is St Bartholomew's. It's uh, always open. Again, which is nice to see. It's not a functional church. It's just kept and maintained for history's sake basically and it's just a beautiful place to come and visit and if you want some peace and quiet and just uh, to look at beautiful stained glass windows etc Beautiful place to live. But they're very unwell over there as well, by the way. So nice to hear the birds singing. As I say, it's so nice being a typical English countryside. We see host houses and uh, acres of greenhouses growing English apples and all kinds of things for cider and hops <clears throat> well I hope you uh, enjoyed this little visit of St Bartholomew's Church in Gunnerstone Faversham as I say it's a really beautiful little place definitely worth your time if you enjoy looking around churches, especially old, old historical churches, as I say, I'll probably uh, give more of a description on the church itself, either in the uh, footnote or I'll uh, add to the video some comments. But as I say, that's where it's located, and I hope you enjoyed this brief video. 
please join me again like and subscribe and all that stuff and uh, i hope to see you on the next one thanks again you have a lovely day bye bye Thank you.